I can't even tell you where I got this game or when, or if somebody gifted it to me or was part of a bundle or whatever. All I know is that I'm a little upset that I'm just now coming across it. Blaze Rush was released in 2014, and which maybe it makes sense that maybe I got it around that time as part of a bundle or something. I just didn't maybe realize or really even look at it because I was working for Zam at the time. I had to focus on major games like World of Warcraft, League of Legends, or basically any other major title that came out between 2014 and 2016. It was a rough period of, of my life where I wasn't able to really enjoy as many indie titles as I would have liked. Well, the other day I'm sitting here and I'm going through my Steam list and I come across this little screen, little screenshot right here. And I'm like, that looks like rock and roll racing. What is this game? Blaze Rush. And now, as you can see, I have 97, actually more than 97 minutes because I've been playing it now for 30 minutes, waiting for the point where I'm actually gonna start recording this video and I never, never really have done it until right now, which is probably 30 minutes later. So yeah, I have like 120 minutes or something like that in this game already. And it's fucking awesome. Like it's really, like nobody in my list has it. Look at this, look at this, wait, one guy, one guy, Lars, fucking Lars, oh, fucking Lars. He's the only guy that has this game. He's the only one that knows. And he didn't tell me, why didn't he tell me about this? I don't know, but look, look, this game is, quite good. It's $10 and it's very highly rated. It's on multiple platforms. I guess it's not on the Switch because it came out in 2014. I guess the devs have since abandoned the, I want to say abandoned the project. I think they're done with the project. It's got plenty of features in it. You can go multiplayer uh, if you wanted to go through. You can host a game. You can find a game. I don't think there's probably any games going on. Let's see. Do, 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 do. I will say, oh, wow, there is a game going on. Well, maybe we should hop in and take a look. It'd probably be a good opportunity to show you guys how it functions. It supports up to eight players. We could probably do this. This should work. Let's see what happens. There was, uh, the other night when I was playing it, uh, there was actually a match going on then too. So it's like, there's always at least one. This is a different, this is not like a bot or something like that hosting it, actually. This is a, um, the other night it was basically, it was a different set of people as well. Uh, but, if you don't have people to play with, whether it be local or uh, or online, uh, it's fine because there's still a lot. I'm going right. I'm going to tell you, what is this? I didn't, they didn't know who this was. <laughs> I don't have this character unlocked yet, so of course I'm going to gravitate towards that. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, oh, they all got the same car. Huh? I wonder if I'm, oh, maybe some of them are bots. I'm not sure. Uh, but anyways, yeah, you could play it local multiplayer uh, up to four people or online, I guess up to eight. Oh, great. Nice. Just put me in the thing here. Uh, oh, this is awesome. I can show you guys this particular mode. We have this giant crushing machine of death that follows your character around. It follows everybody around, rather. And the last person <laughs> ends up getting shit on. We're trying to find a freaking weapon. Here we go, here we go. We can shoot people off the edge here. There's a little bit of rubber banding, actually. This is good, this is good. I'm not trying to hide it from you. You know, if it's got rubber banding, motherfucker, it's got rubber banding. Uh, <laughs> this, this, this match, this mode is actually a lot of fun uh, when you have a bunch of people like this because it's just fucking mayhem. And uh, most of the time, most of the time that I spent playing it, has actually been uh, in um, in single player, and it's a lot of fun in single player because the dudes, it's actually hard. Like the the AI is not bad at the game. There's also no rubber banding, so you know, take take all that as you will. Uh, let me see if I can grab something. Let me see if I can actually win around here. Oh great! Oh, that actually worked out pretty well. Just flung myself forward. Oh, here we go. This is the goo. Oh great, he got the goo. Well, that's the goo. That's what it does. No! Come on! Oh! oh. Uh, I was going oh, second. Okay. It basically resets you in reverse order of how you finish. So I was second to last there, which means I was second place. I'm going to save this turbo here, this giant turbine that I have on my back. I'm going to save that. Now, some of these, uh, these, uh, uh, this rubber banding that you guys see is actually not rubber banding. What it is, is the way the game functions is it doesn't really let you people, well, actually, no, in this particular mode, it is definitely rubber banding. I totally wasted that turbo. Uh, but in any other mode, if you see that kind of like warping forward, what the game does is it keeps everybody within a certain distance of each other. In a normal game mode, it will, it has a catch up mechanic that just simply warps you forward. And that's pretty much it. It doesn't let people get that far behind, which is kind of nice. Uh, it also kind of negates the, uh, I guess the stats that make up your character. Wow, that's a rip. <laughs> So each each car has and each driver has their own stats, right? Like your acceleration, mass, handleability, and all that stuff. Uh, so while some of them are, uh, they'll, they'll stand out in terms of like, okay, yeah, from a from a turn I can recover and I can get some, get up to speed again more quickly, uh, or you know, once I get moving I have a lot of speed, or my handling is amazing. Uh, all those things kind of get balanced out 
from the fact that it does the game does not let you uh like fall that far back oh so look at that it's actually there's uh three players uh and one single uh console playing right now or uh pc i guess huh how interesting this is cool there's like there's somebody out there that's playing with like two of their friends locally online with us oh <laughs> well that's fine uh, because i should i need to show you guys this other crap anyways so back to career uh, the way this works, it's the, um, it's the Angry bird style of unlocking things, right? Where you have to, you complete a match, and yeah, you completed the match, you can go to the next one. But at some point, you're gonna run out of stars, or currency, or cups in this case, uh, to unlock something in the future. Which means you have to go back and play some of the older matches in order to unlock them. So right now, I need two more cups. Now, I could do this one, this has a max of three, this one has a max of five, so I could redo this one if I wanted to, try to get those other cups. That actually tells you exactly what it is you need right here. Kill one opponent, get uh, get a cup. Push three cards with a single wave, sound wave shot, get get a get a cup, and then I'll, that'll bring me up to, uh, to, to, to five out of five for that particular race. Or I could go all the way down here to maybe a race I have not done. And as you can see, there's lots of them. Do -do 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 -do. And then I could get the other ones I need for this. So for example, it says, let's see, uh, kill one opponent, hit with half the bullets from the belt. Let us do that. These are all the characters I currently have unlocked. As you can see, I don't have the uh, the uh, uh, the two uh, young ladies there, but I have uh, Hottie, Turbo Boy, uh, Tailfin, Old Rowdy, Predator. Look at the stats, by the way. Arrow, Pushback, Beast, Dipnoi, Drift King, and Rex. As you can see, the stats are a pretty dramatic. Like they're pretty dramatic. This one, this one right here, Rex. No mass, lots of acceleration, zero handle ability. Uh, you go to like uh, this guy. I think is the best. Yeah, best mass handle ability, no acceleration. This guy turns on a dime. Uh, if you overturn, however, then it will. Uh, you'll actually have a more difficult time recovering because he will turn on a dime. So if you overturn, you're facing the wrong direction, <laughs> which means it takes you a moment to uh, to, to 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 basically you know uh, get yourself corrected here. What is this? Oh, I, I didn't know. I realized I can move this thing around. Look at that. Huh? I didn't know that. Huh. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and do this race. So I have to, what do I have to do? Uh, kill somebody and then, uh, use the, uh, oh yeah, shoot somebody, uh, with half the bullets on a belt. So, have I mentioned rock and roll racing yet? Boy, I really, oh yeah, I did at the very beginning. So I want to mention it again. This game is rock and roll racing. It handles very differently though. Very differently. See, rock and roll racing, the way that that game functions in terms of handling, uh, is it will, uh, you turn left, you turn right. It doesn't matter which car way your car is facing. If you turn left, your car will turn right. This game handles a bit more like a... Oh, I have to kill people, not win. Hold on, hold on. Uh, this game handles a bit more like a twin stick shooter. Oh, God, they keep on flying up the air. It's going to be impossible to shoot them. At some point, I'm going to get on. <laughs> oh, was that it? Maybe. I don't think it tells him to fly. Ugh. No! Yep, there is that teleport mechanic, by the way. See, somebody so far ahead is actually pushing us forward. Come on. It's gotta be it. Oh, that was... By the way, that's how you kill somebody. You throw them off the edge, just like that. Let me see. Epic fail. Wow, I got all kinds of achievements. Enough dying, maybe? Jeez, man, this game is rough. I earned one medal. Okay, so I must have, uh, that must have been shooting people with a certain number of shots. Probably what that one was. Let's see, epic fail, troublemaker, hater, uh, kill the leader, great shot, hit the leader, get even with your opponent, defender, overtake three cards on a boost. Okay, so it does actually tell you right there in the medals. Let's go back here and see what the, up oh, did I, I got a cup, up, but it's not showing up here. Oh, how oh, interesting. I did get a cup though. I did not actually, that was a lie. Huh. Interesting. Well, fine. Let's go up here and do something that I've not done at all. That way I have a higher chance of getting um, getting uh, the next race unlocked. By the way, yeah, the game is getting pretty fucking hard at this point, so... <laughs> I mean, that was like one of the first levels there, so as you could see, I could have very easily won. Um, but the point was to try to kill or to... Uh, uh, to get the, the half the belt unloaded on a single character or whatever it was. Now again, the way you kill somebody is you basically shoot them off the edge and that's it. Now they don't die. There's no like health. I, I, I can pepper somebody with as many shots as I want to or hit them with like, for example, this heat seeking missile here and they won't actually die. They'll just kind of spin wildly out of control and then you have to, uh, and then, you know, they, they may or may not recover. Now you see that guy going off the edge there? That's how you kill somebody. 
That is how you do it. You basically get somebody in a position where they're about to go uh, around a corner or they're on the on the edge of a uh, like the uh, like that. That's how you kill somebody. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, here we go. These are the good rockets here. Nice, solid, nice. Right into somebody's. Oh my god. Right into somebody else's ass. Come on. I'm not gonna win this race, am I? Oh, <laughs> give me those rockets. Oh, dang. I got it. Okay. Line this thing up. Get a good amount of speed. Don't throw myself over the edge. Oh, another turbo. So as you can see, it's like it, it keeps everything pretty pretty tight. So you can get uh, like it doesn't feel like you're falling. Wow, I just could not go anywhere there. Uh, it doesn't feel like you're gonna fall. Whoa! Ah, uh, <laughs> you're not gonna fall so far behind that it's, you're incapable of catching up. But there is another way to view this because uh, and this is by default actually what it does here I'll show you the miscellaneous here you go all cars this is the way it'll default to play if you decide for that to pick up the game and you're like wow this I can't like really see what the hell I'm doing because uh, my character is too far up on the on the on the map and I can't really tell where I'm going until a turn shows up right at the last second so this is go ahead and save changes this is the view all cars mode where's my car at now okay I'm in the front there you go so you can see I'm right now I'm in the front and when you're in the front it's kind of hard to see the turns coming up this is great, obviously, for local players, which obviously would clearly default to that. It doesn't do split screen. Um, so it functions well for that. Oh, gosh, come on. By the way, this is uh, essentially like King of the Hill. The more time you spend on the front, uh, look, uh, look at the left right there. The more time you spend on the lead, the more points you get. And that's how you win. Up to 50 is what you need. Oh, I'm just barely leaving this dude here. So as you can see, yeah, it's a little, you son of a bitch. It's a little bit hard to really track where you're going when you're in the lead. Unless you watch the mini-map at the bottom, which obviously is a massive help. Whoa, okay, and then right there, I didn't realize where my car was, because he just fly around the edge. No, I need to get the lead. You'll see a countdown show up whenever they, uh, whenever they reach the point where they're pretty much about to win. It'll be like a 10 second countdown right there. Let me see if I cut this guy off right here and take that lead from him. I still have a lot of points to make up. Just basically gonna stay right in front of him if I can. Oh my god! Oh my god, please, 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 please! <laughs> Second place, it's fine. Second place. Do I get any cups for this? Let's see. Oh, by the way, it's always gonna show that you have no errors. Oh, one medal. That's what it was. It wasn't one cup before. Dang it. Yeah, right here it'll tell you if you have cups. There are two cups. Um, what was I just gonna say? I don't remember. <laughs> Let's just, let's just keep going. I play, I put so much time, I feel like I put so much time just in the past couple of days playing this game. Two hours is a bit of time. It's a fair amount of time, I think. Especially for a game that's so simple. It's just a racing game. Um, but yeah, it is suppression. Let's see what this is. Uh, Sonic Wave may not be the most powerful weapon, but it's peerless in the right hands. Okay, so kill four opponents, earn 30,000 points, and be the leader for 50 seconds. All right. This is a pretty good game mode, just because the race can essentially go on forever, I guess, uh, if you guys are constantly battling it out. And you can, even if you're in a position where you are basically dead last, uh, or somebody is like so far in the lead, it seems like it's irrecoverable. I have recovered from a, uh, from, from a 47 to like, 20? I think I was at? The dude basically needed to hold the lead for three more seconds and I still managed to end up pulling off a win. Pretty awesome. Uh, it does have, I don't know how many tracks it has exactly because of the number of variations, backwards, forwards, it seems, uh, and a number of different worlds uh, that you can unlock. Just like, just like Rock and Roll Race, when you go to planet to planet, right? Let's go and get this thing out of the way here. Okay, I'm gonna just get shoved around a little bit. Let's actually get out of this mode here because I actually very much prefer not playing with all players. Probably great if you're playing with friends. But that's it. Oh yeah, it also has uh, Oculus Rift support. If you guys are into that kind of thing. <laughs> Here we go, all right. Now just me. This is the Sonic weapon. P.S. The way this game functions, uh, in terms of its, is that guy out of the range? I think he's out of range. Mm. The way this game functions in terms of its mm, weapons and uh, vehicle unlocks and everything, you have to do a lot of racing and unlock everything. Uh, quite a bit, I mean, I'm not done unlocking everything. I have not seen yet all the weapons and all that, uh, or even all the vehicles. Oh, I just launched the shit out of that dude, that was awesome. Oh, oh, I'm getting tossed. There we go, all right. Give me a kill, give me a kill, give me a kill. Damn it. But yeah, I've not yet seen everything. Uh, right over the edge I go. <laughs> and I've been playing for like two hours, right? Or two hours or so. So there's still a lot of content left to discover. 
but it is incremental. So you are going to be playing with like just basic Gatling gun or something for like a handful of races. And then you're going to play with uh, just the booster or something for or the sonic weapon like this. You know, so you're going to get just a handful of things to play with at a time. And then you have races like this that basically incorporate everything that you've learned thus far. Let me see if I can pull off this. Just give me, give me, just give me right in front of him. There it is. Oh man, he's got three seconds left. Just hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay, I can do this. From 15, 49, one more second, one more lead, and that's it. That's all he needs. One lead. Is that him? No. But that guy gets tossed. Ooh, no, 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 no. Oh, no! Don't let him lead! Don't let him lead! Oh, come on, baby. Get up there. Ah! Oh, well, I got second place, so that's still pretty good. From what? Third? Last? Something like that? Not bad, not bad. Not bad. I've unlocked the Panzer Flashbagger. Looks like a tank of some sort. Two medals, lots of points. Oh my god, I was 227 points away from getting the 30,000 point cup. Oh, that sucks. So close. So close. I should have just got like one more enemy with the damn thing. Oh, here we go. Tank, the Curse of Valley. Let's go see what this is. With our new, uh, let's see, try to survive the deserts. 30,000 points, kill four, four opponents. Jesus, man. It's getting... Let me see. What is this? Man, look at that mass. All right, let's give it a shot. I thought the other guy drove like a tank. I'm pretty sure this probably is like, obviously with the treads and whatnot, it's probably like a very heavy tank, perhaps. I don't know. A heavier tank. Look at that thing behind me, though. I haven't seen that yet. Like, in terms of being able to play it. It's a very cool looking vehicle. In terms of like its wheels, like type of wheels, it kind of just turbines its way through things <laughs> like a drill would. Let me get this guy, toss this guy off the edge if I can. Oh, I missed a Sonic thing, damn it. Just gotta survive, just gotta survive. No. Oh, oh, still got first though. For that round, that is. Ooh. Now, see, if this guy gets too far ahead, what happens is the game will actually speed up the goddamn thing. Give me a fucking turbo! Ooh, yeah! <laughs> oh, I missed that turbo, damn it. Uh, give me this one. Shit. No, oh, he's taking this dude's taking all the damn turbos. There is a little bit of RNG to it. If you don't happen to get a good pickup, or like, you know, maybe miss an obvious pickup, like that one right there! <laughs> Leroy, nice. Uh, if you miss an obvious pickup, then you're gonna pay for it, like, oh yeah, or if you miss a turn like that, then you're gonna pay for it. Well, now I'm not playing after the rest of this match, we'll see what happens. Alright, so, in the lead is, uh... <laughs> but no, seriously, let's talk for a minute. So, as you guys have seen so far, this game is definitely worth $10. I've played games that have not been quite as fun uh, and accessible for like 15 bucks that I felt was totally worth that amount of money. $10 is almost like a no-brainer. As a matter of fact, some of you guys might actually own this game and you just, you didn't even notice because it was part of some, I don't know, promotion or some bundle or or maybe it was part of the uh, PS Plus thing and you just log in every month and you, you just basically download whatever game it is and then never touch your PS4 again! Oh, dang it. <laughs> like I do. Or I used to, actually. Now my play PlayStation is just a paperweight. That's sad. Oh, you can blame Destiny for that. But yeah, it is, uh, it is a solid fucking game, man. And, I mean, I don't know if you really can get reliably eight players into a match because I've not yet seen an online match with eight players that are all online. Uh, everything I've seen has been uh, a mix of, dang it, give me this, of local players with online players. Perhaps that's how they get the eight. Who knows? Who knows? But still, though. Oh, gosh. You can buy a four-pack if you want to for $29.99. Definitely worth it if you have uh, a bunch of friends that are uh, wanting to get down on playing. You guys want to all pitch in? Oh, Jesus. You see, the reason why I sped up like that is because these dicks are up here with the turbo at the very front. Assholes. Now what? I'm in last place. Jesus, this is embarrassing. <laughs> we just end this damn thing. Uh, give me this. Give me this. Oh, I gotta knock some off the edge right here. Right. No, never mind. I'm saving my turbo. Never mind. Let's use it. Oh, no, 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 no. Get out of my fucking way. <laughs> ah, 
Did I mention already that the game is getting more and more difficult as you progress? Like, I mean, it's pretty easy at the beginning. There's some challenging moments here and there, but for the most part, it's, it's kind of just a very nice gradual uh, increase in difficulty. There are some where it's like, I don't understand the mechanic very well. I'm not particularly good at it. It's like, for example, some of the turbos operate differently from others. There's like three different ones so far that I've seen. There's like a, a Sonic one, there's a double rocket one, and then there's like a basic, just, you know, long lasting turbo. Uh, and in that order, it goes from the most boost to the least boost. Uh, with the amount of uh, controllability that you have, if that makes any sense, something like that. But um, yeah, it's 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 fun, man. <laughs> let's pick something else to do. Let's see. Let's just go see if there's anybody else playing online. Maybe we can actually get in here and play. I mean, I've, I pretty, I've sold you guys in the game already, right? I totally have. You know I have. Let me see. Let me find a game. Let's see if there's anybody playing. Let's show a list. Please give me one person playing the game. Howard. All right, Howard. Is this the same guy as before, I think. Game mode. I think he's just doing survival. Oh, cool, we get to spectate when we come in. By the way, also awesome. You don't have to wait for the lobby or anything to join. We get his watch. And I believe, actually, we get to come in in the middle of the round as well. I think. We'll wait and see what happens here. Let me see who's playing. Uh, I think I can pull up the list here somehow. No, no, no. Yeah, here we go. So you get to come in right in the middle of the race. Obviously, I'm at a deficit because, uh, well, one, I didn't get to choose my vehicle. And two, uh, I'm coming in the middle of the race. So I have to really, really earn my... Earn my Oh, stuff here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get in front of me. No, not like that. Uh, come on. Let me just... All I have to do is just blow them up. See, if you take them off the map, that's the end. Uh, that was too close. They can't do anything. Well, they'll blow up, basically. So, you only get one... Oh, gosh, turbo! They only get one life. Regardless of whether or not they're being thrown off the map or run over by the giant thing. Yes! Ooh, so this turbo, the Sonic Turbo, you can kind of control. You can kind of steer. It's a little rough because the... Uh, be, oh, damn it. No, no, no. Uh, because when you turn, uh, it cancels itself if you turn too sharply. So if you get really good at taking really smooth turns, you can make that turbo last for quite a, a, quite a good amount of time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you see this guy right there? Oh, he's, no, no turns or anything, so. Uh, and then there's the uh, the rock, double rocket turbo, which gives you a huge burst of speed, but uh, unfortunately, it does not last particularly long. So the Sonic one is definitely the most bang for your buck. See ya. That was on me, by the way. You guys saw that, right? Yeah, that was slick. That was good. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> oh, whoops, shit. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I just threw myself right off the edge. <sighs> so yeah, the controls are stupid simple. It's basically just joystick and then the A button and the X button. The A button is your turbos, the X button is your weapons. That's pretty much it. Oh gosh. We're good, we're good. He's got the goo. Yep, yeah, that's rough. Nope, it's all the same in front of him. Oh, missed. Missed, but he's gonna go off the edge. Nope. Oh my god, he got turbo. Ooh, he got my two! Come on, come on. No, no! Oh, <laughs> oh man. This guy's lag hacking. Clearly. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I just like ran right in front of that. I just spun right in front of his bullets and just lifted me off the ground. Oh, slick. Look at this guy turning around to get the shot there and knock somebody off the edge. Pretty smart, pretty smart. Uh, this rocket's gonna catch up and. You could dodge those, by the way. Oh, it blew up right before you get to him. Yeah, you could, you could, if you have a high maneuverability vehicle, you can uh, swerve to dodge them. Or just use, like, hug a wall, and hopefully they uh, they turn into the wall instead of you. But you can't hit anybody from point blank, as you saw right there. It doesn't track when it's particularly close. That goes right off the edge, and there it is. That's the win. That's the win right there. Let's see if they do another one. Hail the leader. I'm going to ready up. Oh, I got to choose? Let me see. Uh, Badlands, Organic Death. Well, everyone's going here, so I guess that's where we're going. I don't want to be the outlier or anything. Let's see, what's this one? Ooh, wow. Kind of a nice way to be able to test. I'm guessing that the unlocks are based off of the host. And that's it. That makes pretty much the most sense, I think. Okay, damn, dude. Has to be. But it's weird that some of these guys are choosing the... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> some of these guys are choosing the, uh, the first car. What is it called? The Beast, I think? 
So basically, uh, not number one, but number two, number three, are both using the same vehicle. And those are, that's the uh, the first car upper left corner when you go to do uh, your vehicle selection. So yeah, it's kind of strange. I'm not sure if that's because they, oh, I mean, you don't start with just one vehicle unlocked. You get a couple. But I wonder if it's a bot thing or what. I'm not quite sure. Okay, let me see. Wow, what an interesting looking vehicle. Oh gosh, the wobbles. Speaking of wobbles, the animations are great. The animations are superb. The uh, the weapon selection is as you get going. Oh gosh, trying to outrun this thing. <laughs> no! <laughs> the weapon selection, once you get a lot of things unlocked, is pretty fantastic. Um, obviously, overall, graphically, it's quite good. Quite, quite good. Definitely a solid title. It's got tons of reviews that are really good. Obviously, I'm the only jerk off that hasn't seen it ever uh, until I just was strolling. Just seriously, it was like late at night. I was far from sober and I was just like, yeah, you know, let me go ahead and just kind of flip through and see what I got here. What's this Blaze Rush thing? I, I thought it was. I thought it was because I have a kid, right? I thought it was Blaze, the 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 monster truck thing. It's like a monster. It's like a talking monster truck or something. Remember, like, uh, remember there was like a Bigfoot in the monster machines or whatever, like from like back in the 80s. It was basically an animated TV show with uh, Bigfoot and Gravedigger and all these old, um, all these, you know, monster trucks. And they uh, they all were basically like a hero squad of some sort, I think. It's been a long time since I've seen that, but I think it's what... So I, th I thought it was. I was like, oh, Blaze Rush. It's a, you know, monster truck type thing or whatever, but... No, it's not. No, it's uh, it's rock and roll racing. Reimagined. In probably, probably the best possible way, really. The controls is the one thing that some people may not be able to get used to. But, and I thought I was that person. I was like, oh man, it's too bad I can't change the controls, because you can't. But then over time, I just got used to it. And it really just feels natural. It's a twin stick. It's a fucking twin stick. Surely you can handle that. Oh, I'm so far ahead. I'm about to eat those guys up. Come on, baby. Oh, no, he's catching up here. P.S. You can, like, fire things off if you wanted to. Ooh, yeah. Uh, like, let's say if you have a weapon, and there's another weapon coming up, right? And you want to deny that your, uh, your enemy the whatever weapon that is. You can just fire shit off real quick. And if you can get it cleared before... Oh, Jesus. Before they get to it, oh my god! Then you can uh, basically deny them access to that weapon. So, like for example, the Sonic thing. Well, actually, the Sonic thing is the best one, best example. <laughs> huh? Because the Sonic thing, you can actually knock weapons out of the arena, which is pretty slick. The Gatling gun takes a little bit of a while. Oh, nice. Hey, I'm about to. Oh, never mind. I'm not in the lead. Close though. Close. Let me see. Yeah, the Sonic is probably my, like, right there, that was a Sonic weapon. There, there is again. Probably one of my favorite weapons. Ooh, see, so taking that turn with smoothness. No, 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 go oh, good. Because you, because it's so flexible in what you could do. Oh, please land, please land, please land. Oh, oh, I was still in first because it knocked me so far forward that the, the, uh, the lawnmower there. Here, I'll do it again. Sped up and ate up the last guy. That's pretty wow. What a backfire. That guy nailed me. He was probably like, yeah, bitch. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> set themselves up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, we need more. We need more speed. We need more speed. Give me, give me something. Oh, crap. It's far away. There we go. Oh, man. Sonic. Oh, sh I missed it. Oh, yes. Oh, that was perfect. Look at that. Number one, right? Well, also, oh, because these guys have been playing. All right, fine, whatever. Well, there. Let's see what we got here. Uh, that was me, the most careful. What's up? Awesome. Well, so long, suckers. Da -da 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 -da. We're going to proceed, and then we'll back out of this thing here. How cool. How oh, awesome. Modifiers. What's modifiers on this stuff, too? Let's do that. Let's go see max numbers eight. Uh, max player number eight. Server into the party. That's I'm curious, actually. I don't think I've actually gone through the host again. Let's see, allow online players. Cool, private lobby. No, public lobby. Cool. Maximum players, eight. Awesome, so you can have eight. This might be a subnight game. Just just so you know, this might be a subnight game. Uh, let's see, waiting timers, fill empty slots with bots. It's up to four, I could probably go to up to two. Okay, that's fine. Uh, allow voting, bots difficulty, nice. Allow modifiers, ooh. Let's see, race, king of the hill, mini track, standard, hard track. Okay, so we basically got a little bit of everything here. Let's see, maximum players. Let's go like three, uh, and then <clears throat> we'll go private lobby. Uh, let's see. 
And then, how do I start it? Let's go... Is this back? But I guess it's just basic. Oh, start the party, damn it! <laughs> oh, I didn't keep my settings! Let's see, uh, for two... And the wait timers, we'll be short, a lot of voting, let's see, a lot of modifiers. I'm curious what the modifiers are, actually, or if it's just basically a different game type or something, it just calls them modifiers for some reason. Let's see. Do 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 do, creating the party. Did I go public? I'm not sure. Just want to see what the modifiers might be. Um, party preferences. Okay, just basically more things here. Okay, well, I don't know what the modifiers are. I'm guessing is it just, uh, oh, who knows? Huh. Let's start. So you gotta continue. Uh, na, 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 na. King of the Hill, rare weapon drop. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, rocket party. That's the modifiers. Not lethal weapons only. Rare weapon drop. Curious. Let's do this. It's just me and a couple bots. Oh, look at this. I get to unlock these um these other ones. Okay, so I don't actually... I, I can't tell you why I can unlock these. So we'll just enjoy the fact that we could play with these characters that are not typically unlocked? Sure. Let's see what kind of rare weapons we have available to us. I'm very curious now. Let me see. Give me a weapon. P.S. One thing. Oh, one thing I was going to mention earlier and I was like, oh, I don't remember what I was going to say. Uh, I remember what I was going to say now. When you're in the lead, the turbos don't drop for you, right? They, you notice that as I'm going, as I'm maintaining speed, it drops behind me. Because it's designed for the people that are, you know, behind you. Let's get rid of this. It's not a rare weapon. Unless it is, I don't know. Whoa, okay. This thing's just one big ass wheel. Shouldn't it have like great traction? It's just one big fucking wheel. Oh, fired it at the ground. Uh, I'm getting teleported up here. Ah, it does handle like mad though. Holy crap. Like it turns pretty quickly, so maybe. Yeah, look at that. Right off the edge. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> This is a stupid bot. Stupid bot. Get him away. 34 seconds. Oh, sorry, 39, 40. Oh gosh, only 10, 10 seconds left. 7, 6, no. 5, 4, 3. Oh, that's a win. That's a win. Oh, baby. <laughs> that's a little close. <laughs> I would have recovered, though. There you go. All right, so that's it. So you see, quick and simple games. Uh, obviously, the modifiers is pretty fucking cool. You get eight people to, together to play in this? Oh my god, it's gotta be amazing. I mean, assuming the rubber banding doesn't exist and whatnot, but I have no idea how far away those people were. So you imagine if you're playing with people that are, yeah, maybe relatively close to you in proximity. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. Yes, okay. Leave game. Okay, that's what it means by that. Okay, now let's uh, menu, let's leave game. Here we go, main menu time. Bam. All right. So, that's it. That's Blaze Rush. Highly rated on every platform that it's available. Uh, a game that I missed out on from 2014. Is it really 2014? Let me just scroll up here on the other screen. Yeah, October 28th, 2014. I just totally missed this. Totally missed this. But I'm fairly certain this is around the time that I started working at Zam, so full time from the... Uh, remember, I used to be just a BFF report guy, and then I ended up getting graduating to... to what, whatever. I think my final title is like vice president of something, something, something. That was like a two-week title, though, because we were closing. We were basically all getting booted, and I was like, hey, let me get the VP title. And they like, yeah, sure, you can have it, because I was director at the time. That's how it works. Business. All right, my name is Mike B. This is Blaze Rush. Please check it out if you haven't already, or if you don't already own it. It is well worth the 10 fucking dollars that it costs. Or pick up a party pack. $29.99. Get yourself a handful of them. Give them to your friends. Local and online support. Up to eight players online. Four players local. Thank you so much for watching. This is Any for Breakfast. I'll see you guys later. <laughs>